joining us now is Dominic Nanny, and he is uh, also at Wayne State. Yes. Nanny? Nanny. 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 I'm sorry. All right, Nanny. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice seeing you. Yes, absolutely. Good having you with us. You're at Wayne State University? I am. Yes. All right. And you're very much involved in uh, voter education and trying to get young people to become active and vote? Yes. Yeah, so what I did was about four years ago, um, we have partisan groups on campus. We have far left groups. We have a co college Republicans. But I sensed an urge for kind of a nonpartisan group. So I worked with some faculty members in political science to start what's called the Political Science Student Association, which contrary to name, you don't have to be a political science major to be in, right? Um, and so what we do is we hold events on campus that are nonpartisan nature. So um, one of our first big events that we did was we actually got Benny Napoleon and Mike Duggan to come and do a town Excellent. hall event with students on campus and members of the community. Great. Um, and later we had um, <clears throat> one of our bigger events also was a lecture series with Charles C.W. Cook of the National Review and Eric Alterman of the Nation. Mm -hmm. So what we aim to do is we hold events that are nonpartisan in nature that have, can appeal to people and students of both sides of the aisle um, and encourage discussion and participation. And in addition to that, we also do voter registration drives on campus. Um, which Professor Marjorie Sarbaugh Thompson in the Political Science Department um, coordinates also, and we've registered, I believe, thousands of students to vote over the course of the past few years. Well, it's it's great. Well, we saw the two students. Yes, right absolutely. You. They seem very engaged, very energized, very uh, interested in in the in the process. Well, what I think what our what my main goal is, um, if you look, um, that we have you know student loan debt. There are tons of issues that affect students. Sure. Um, and the problem is that a lot of students, the, the interests of students, I feel, go kind of unnoticed simply because we don't show up at the polls and vote, right? Um, so my goal has always been, while I want to have discussion and debate and whatnot and things like that, my main goal is to get students out to the polls because if they go out to the polls, if they vote, if they make a strong standing in elections, it will kind of force politicians to listen to things that we're saying, such as please fix the student loan mm -hmm. debt problem, the cost of tuition, um, the job prospects for students as they graduate college, which are getting slimmer, you know, by the day. But well, we certainly saw a lot of that, in particularly in late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, students very engaged yeah. and it became a national issue. Do you sense we're Getting so back to that again. the problem, the problem is a lot of those people who would be classified in that camp as the, you know late '60s, early '70s activists are supporting Senator Sanders right now. Um, the problem is though that there's so much emphasis in education, not in education, but I mean you hear in the media and things like that. I mean the support for Secretary Clinton is almost overwhelming, um, and so while there are literally millions of students behind Senator Sanders, um, there's kind of a twofold problem because a um, a lot of students don't vote, so that becomes a problem for him if he's relying on the youth vote. But also, um, I don't, I'm not saying it about you two personally or um, others on this station, but a lot of people in the media um, look at the students who support Senator Sanders and Senator Sanders himself as like, okay, you're doing great, but let's, you know, good job so far, but let's have someone who knows how to govern, mm -hmm. kind of a condescending kind of manner. So I, there are students who are supporting Senator Sanders who could be, you know, classified in those um, similar to the activists in the 60s, but there, there's just not that much traction because a lot of the attention is on Hillary, but also simply, I mean, there's all this energy, but it, 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 if it doesn't go anywhere if students don't show up to the right, polls. Right. Well, hopefully they will, and uh, I'll tell you what, if, uh, if Sanders continues to do well in Michigan tonight, uh, he's not going anywhere. Well, I think what so. we're seeing is we saw record turnout so far, which yeah, ultimately right. helps Senator Sanders. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good. So, we'll Dominic, see. thank you so yes, much. Yes, absolutely. Dominic, Appreciate great. you thank taking you. time. Nice to meet you. Away from your homework and your books absolutely. to come in yeah. and be with us. Thank you. Thank All you right, very thank much. Thank you so Dominic much. Dominic Nani at uh, Wayne State University joining us. This is going to